Oké, okay, I'm back with a new video. And this video is about Mabon and what it means to a witch like me. Mabon doesn't mean anything to me because I don't work with a calendar. I follow the round with that way. And there is no use of a calendar in the round with that way. There's just no place for it. There's no room for it. It's not important. And I think Mabon is celebrated on... The 21st, 22nd or 23rd of September. September 21, 22, 23. I don't know exactly. But I don't care. I really, really don't care. I don't feel it. I don't see it. I have other signs and clues that hint me into the right direction. Um, the first clear marker is when... I see birds having a second nest. Now, it sounds weird, but I know every dove, every crow, every bird in my neighborhood. I know where they swim or fly or have a nest or where they feed or where they take a sand bath or a water bath. And when I see some birds creating a second nest and having a second nest, then I know that... Um, There is an attempt to stay creative and be creative and productive and um, keep going. So the hedgehogs are super busy. That's an important clue. Um, sometimes there are 20, 30 hedgehogs gathering in a field, which is always a very cool thing. Now, to me... Um, there is a growing light, a abundance of sunlight. And at some point I have to walk my dog in the dark again. So when I get up now at 4 a.m., um, that's when my alarm clock goes off. Um, I have to put a light on a harness. I have to attach a little light on a harness so I can see where my dog is going. And the next step is that I have to use a flashlight so I can follow the little light on my dog's harness. That's a very clear sign that fall is coming, that there is an end coming to summer. No beds, uh, no singing birds anymore. Um, so that's very important. Then we have, of course, this all happens after the longest day in the year. I think that's tw June 20 or 21. Um, another thing is summer holidays. When people are packing their campers and tents and carts and uh, they are preparing for some kind of vacation. In the middle of nowhere or whatever. And then came coming home from their vacation. And sending the kids back to school. That's a very important thing. Uh, people coming back from a vacation. And you know it's the end of summer. Kids going back to school. Um, that's an important thing. Then we have the first mushrooms. And the acorns and walnuts. And the first chestnuts falling down. Um, it's getting colder, it's getting darker, it's getting colder. And then at some point, you know, you have to take your dog for a last walk or the first walk in the morning. And it's nice to have a little jacket or an extra sweater on and, you know, it gets colder. Um, it doesn't get more difficult than that, I think. Um... Extra jacket, extra sweater, and during the day, it's normally, it's okay. It's still 20 degrees, 21 degrees Celsius, up to going 25 or something. Uh, some birds go to sleep. They hide in trees together to, uh, to stay warm and keep hum, uh, warm. Another sign is that in spring, before the summer, Spiders in your house are trying to find the door and the window and they want to go outside. And right now they are trying to get into my house already. So spiders trying to crawl into my home is a very clear sign that 
summer is ending and fall has arrived, then there is the harvest. First one, second one. Um, and another funny thing is, if you have dogs, you know, they start shedding when it gets super hot in summer or just before summer, before the warm weather. And when they stop shedding, they are preparing their coat for winter, which is about now everything about this time of year is about preparation and being in a hurry to get chores done. Um, I went into the fields and um, I found all kinds of grain, which I think are, is super cool. These ones are like little raindrops and the most of the golden color has already disappeared. But in Dutch, I have a collection of Boekweit, Gerst, Haver, um, that kind of thing. Gerst, Haver, Boekweit and something else that's disappeared out of my mind. But... Um, Here we have the Empress, and this is the Empress. The time of, to me, the Empress. Some trees are getting darker. Uh, they are not as vibrant and bright and light as in spring. Um, there is this beautiful dress. Um, the trees are getting darker, a little bit grayish. The sun can still shine, you can still sit outside, and there is grain. So this to me is not a card that is typical for springtime. Uh, when life starts and when life is growing and when people when nature gets productive. This is the for to me. Um, the time of getting ready to rest. Um, you've get your, you've got your berries, you've got your cherries, you've got your apples, you have got your things ready from the garden, you know, and then you can harvest the last grains and finally, you know, sit down, relax and give birth to peace. Um... This is the Tarot de Marseille. It's less clear, I think. But it's still a meditative card where most of the work has been done and completed. And then you can enjoy the last bits of sun. Sit down, relax, go to sleep and be pregnant, you know, get pregnant. I have... The feeling, always have the feeling of, I have to do, do this and I have to do that. And I have to go, get the garden ready and I have to do chores and I have to clean the windows and I have to mop the floors. And I have to do all kinds of things to um, rest. It's giving birth to, it's the feeling of giving birth to... Silence, stillness, peace, being dormant, gathering new creative energies for the new year. Now, here are some chestnuts, sweet chestnuts. I like this one because they were sticking together. Um, so I gathered some of these and um, the trees are still green. Not as green as in spring, where everything is apple green and bright and it's, you know, the world is dying, but you're preparing for what's to come. Darkness, coldness, stillness, peace, silence, all kinds of things. Now I find, just to check, I know every Ginkgo biloba tree in the neighborhood, in the city. And there are just a couple of leaves. Um, and it's not even sure if these um, died because of the drought. 
it was way too sunny. Uh, or if this is the beginning of fall, I think um, it won't take long anymore. But there are so many signs and markers that um, things are coming to an end. And summer is hitting the brakes. And um, it's not 20, 21, 22, 23 september or something i think when you are a wiccan you go from one sabbat to another or esbat and sabbat and uh festival um that are set on certain dates or fixed in certain dates and when you follow the wrong with that path these dates mean nothing what you are focusing on is nature the weather if it's cold in the morning or warm, if it's chilly in the evening or still hot, or um, if you're sweating or not, if you have to use a jacket or a sweater or not, if there are still beds or not, if there are birds um, looking for a partner or not, you know? Um, and sometimes there is a full moon and sometimes there is not a full moon. And actually, I don't give a shit. What I think is important, what's important to me is, you know, these and the chestnuts inside are not ready. So these aren't um, the ones that you actually need. That's why I took them, because, of course, I know every sweet chestnut in tree in the neighborhood. And I really... Uh, I'm waiting for them to have something inside that I can eat. Yes, I eat the sweet chestnuts, not uh, white chestnuts. So, um, when the forest floors aren't covered with beautifully colored leaves, um, then it's not... The end of the world, but you know, this is so cool. When I see this pop up, I am always super happy. Um, so I decided to make a little bit of a bouquet and enjoy this. And I will add some flowers later and look how beautiful. So, um... What does Mabel mean to a wrong with a witch? Nothing. We don't work. I don't work with a calendar. Um, there is no ritual or ceremonial magic. There is not a festival going on on a certain date. Or it's little celebration. It's a little celebration here, it's a little celebration there, it's a little bit celebration there. It's a natural flow of following nature and what's happening there. So, and I always wonder, are Wiccans really going to, are they waiting for that date? And the next date, and the next date? And they are going from one day to another. Is it something Wiccan? Did Gardner invent that or make that up? Or did Crowley make it up? Or it's the same with tarot spreads with fixed positions. This is past. This is present. This is future. This is your afterlife or something. Or this is your husband, this is your wife, these are your children. And this is how you get along together and this is how you don't get along together. Or this needs improvement. I don't get it. I don't even get tarot spreads with fixed positions. Um, and I definitely don't get the whole weekend calendar. I really... Don't. So I don't want to insult anybody or hurt somebody's feelings. I just want to explain how witchcraft works for me. And um, that based on 
following the, all the signs that are popping up in your life and that you become aware of and that you should be aware of and you know things like that um see you next time bye